Hi, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to be showing you how to go from LiDAR data into CAD. We're going to be using Equator software to source the LiDAR, but if you have your own LiDAR information that you want to figure out how you can bring it to CAD, check out the link in the description below. I have another video made just for you. So opening up the topography menu and making sure that USGS LiDAR data is selected. What you're seeing on the screen now is basically a map of all of the LiDAR data that has been collected and made public through the USGS. I am just really curious about these data sets way up north here in Alaska. So that's why I am navigating way up to the top because I'm curious about what some of their most northern data sets look like. Okay, so where am I? Just changing the base layer. I am in a place called Barter Island, Alaska. That image was terrible, so changing it back. Um, let's see what we have here. Some sort of waste management facility, um, some sort of new construction going on, an airport, small little town here, and then up at the top. This area is very interesting and something that I had to look up more in making this video. So here's what I learned about the history of Barter Island. Up until the 19th century, Barter Island was a major trade destination for the Nupiat people. Um, more recently, Barter Island became part of the Distant Early Warning Line, also known as Dews Line, which was basically a system of radar stations in the far north um, set up to detect incoming Soviet bombers during the Cold War. And that's basically what you're seeing on the screen here. The modern day version of the radar station. Now today we know that there are some major concerns along the coastline of Barter Island with erosion and protecting the existing infrastructure, specifically the radar station, and potentially that's one of the reasons why it's been surveyed by LIDAR. So what we're going to do in this example is basically extract some data along the coast of Barter Island uh, where they have historically had issues with erosion and convert that LIDAR data into a CAD format so that we can look at it in CAD software. So first, we're going to make a plan for the area that we need to extract by first viewing the data in Equator. Um, we are going to select contours and specify the interval of 0.5 meters, draw the area that we want to take a look at, and hit process. Now I can see my contours have streamed in here and I have a pretty good idea about that what that uh, topographic surface looks like. So now I'm going to load in the point cloud data as well. I'll do 3D surface at the same time. So just remember all of these products that you're creating in Equator, they start from the point cloud information, which has just popped in on the screen there and it gets converted on the fly into what you need. So here we are looking at sort of the um, classified point cloud, which is where it all starts. I'm going to adjust the colors so that I can view it uh, at full intensity in black and white, a way that I really like to look at it because it really clearly picks up the surface features. Um, just kind of maneuver around my site here. Let's take a cross section and see how that looks. So just dropping down a couple points to view my cross section. Yeah, and you can see how steep that bank is right there. Um, it's no surprise that they're getting a lot of erosion in this area. Let's, uh, let's check one more spot here. So just inserting another cross section. Uh, view that cross section and yeah, really interesting. That's great. So you get a, a nice preliminary look at your site before you can even bring the information into CAD. So I will zoom out now and I'm going to turn off the point cloud, turn back on the contours, um, just kind of remember what I'm targeting in CAD, which is that I want to turn the LiDAR point cloud into a uh, contour file that I can open in CAD. I am back in the topography menu and I've selected contours in DXF format at 0.5 meter resolution. Again, drawing the bounds around the area that I want to extract and finally hitting OK so that that data will be processed and then sent to me by email so that I can actually just download it and open that CAD file. So now I've downloaded the file for my email and I've opened it up in my CAD software and I can see it's actually rotated, so it's a different perspective than, than what I was looking at in Equator, but basically all the contours are here. Um, opening up the properties menu here, you can see that if I click on a contour, it's gonna bring up the elevation in the right spot. So it's basically good to go. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below or any suggestions for future videos.